In this tutorial, we will learn how to use voice limit groups in AtomCraft. Voice limit groups provide another way to implement instance limiting. Contrarily to the queue limiting we saw in a previous video, voice limit groups operate at the voice level. This means that you can specify playback limits for groups of waveform regions, even if they are from different queues. First, let's create a voice limit group. Go in the Global Settings section of the project tree. Right click on the Voice Limit Groups folder. Select New Object, and then click on Create Voice Limit Group. The new voice limit group appears. To rename it, simply right click and then select Rename from the context menu. To assign a full queue to our new voice limit group, select the queue and drag and drop it on your voice limit group. The playback of all the waveform regions in this queue will now be limited according to our voice limit group properties. You can also drag a single track or even a single waveform region into your voice limit group. Like this. If you click on the voice limit group in the global settings, you can see all the waveform regions belonging to it. Here we can see that we have two waveform regions in this voice limit group, and we can now define how many instances of them can be played back simultaneously. For example, if we set the limit to 3, the game will not play the helicopter and the gun waveforms more than three times simultaneously. It is also possible to assign waveform regions to voice limit groups directly from the FX ASAC panel at the bottom of your screen. Open a queue, select a waveform region, click on the FX2 tab. In the Voice Priority section, click on the Voice Limit Group drop down menu and select your voice limit group. This concludes our tutorial about the voice limit groups in AtomCraft, which provide a very granular way to implement playback limitations.